So oh. we are making um, something you call um, a salatim course. Yeah, so basically, you know, this is this would be your, you know, your antipasta, your salad course. Um, so salatim is salad, salad in Egyptian. Exactly. Okay. Is this so gonna, food supposed to be photographed? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to any of his restaurants? All of it is like this. You almost don't want to eat it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, we so, eat with yeah. our eyes, you're right. <laughs> so we'll start with just, you know, taking our avocado and we split it in half and then mm, yeah. go ahead and we'll just take just it, out it out of the skin. Just see which side. So you're using Broca avocados. Yes. So is that, Come are again? these avocados yeah. from Tom Broca's home? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay. It's, it's, it's one of the farms, it's a farm that we use. Um, I, I actually think that they're the best avocados that I've ever had, but... Um, we, you know, if you don't if you don't have that avocado, it's fine. Okay. You can get any avocado, but you just want to make sure you get a really. You can get like Haas avocados, but just make sure they're right. What makes broke avocado so special? Mm. Well, it's just the creaminess. So you, you'll taste yeah. it. They're just okay. how they're grown. It's just very creamy and nutty. Oh, they are. And um, you notice yeah. all the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're so annoyed right now. You know, yeah. this is an impressive group of people to be cooking for. I know. And I know. However, you have cooked for some seriously impressive people in your life. Um, yeah. One of them happened to be the uh, the leader of the free world. That's right. <laughs> Would you want to care to tell us who that was? Yeah, it was oh President Obama. And what? Yeah. Not just one time, though, a few times. Yeah. You know, he was asked back. Fortunate. <laughs> Very fortunate. Yes. What was that like? It was, a, you know, it was a, it was a life changing experience, especially the first time that I got to cook for him because um, I it was at a um, Mark Benioff's home and um, who is with Salesforce as the head of Salesforce and he had you know a group of people there and um, after I cooked lunch it was like you know kind of some advisors and President Obama asked me to sit down and I got to be part of the discussion and it was you know a pretty life changing experience. I mean, how do you have small talk with President Obama? <laughs> you bring up uh, Broca avocado. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so to so, this beautiful Broca okay. avocado, we yeah. add some of these vegetables that you have yeah. pickled. Actually. Yeah, and so we're going to start with um, this is a little bit of sug, and so it's kind of. I joke around with it. It's kind of like I would say, almost like Middle Eastern um, chimichurri. It's got you know okay. garlic yeah. and herbs and spices in it. And then we have pickled vegetables. And so, you know, yeah. cooking to me, like the the thing that I've always tried to infuse into my cooking um, is balance. And what I mean by balance is everybody's had a meal in their life where a salad, where you get a salad and there's so much vinegar and not enough oil and it's mm -hmm. really tart. Mm -hmm. Too much oil, not enough vinegar, and it's right. really bland and boring. Too much heat. Lettuce. Yeah, too much yeah. heat. And so really it comes to f down to f uh, richness, which is kind of fat, acid, sweetness, and spice. So the four things you want to balance when you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Avocado is very, you know, fatty, good fat, but it's Creamy. very fatty. Okay. So we pickled all of our vegetables. So we have cauliflower. Yeah. And you pickled these yourself. Yeah, we pickled these ourselves. And this is not a pickling that is like a canning. This is you pickled overnight. Yeah, you pickle overnight. Um, you know, you can, you won't, you wouldn't preserve them that way, but you can pickle them that way where you just do a warm pickle and then you drop your vegetables in and then after that you just let them sit for, you know, a few hours and they'll get a good pickling flavor. And what kind of mushrooms did you use there? Okay, so we have maitake mushrooms and then I have some corn that we've actually cooked and oyster mushrooms, and I have some corn that we've actually cooked with a little bit of turmeric, and so oh. turmeric's gonna give it those really nice spice, but it's also <laughs> gonna give it beautiful color. And really good for your brain. <laughs> and good for your brain. Some yeah. jalapenos. Oh, the jalapenos. You guys taste some jalapenos over there? Yeah, I get Debbie, why are your hands tied behind your back? <laughs> because I'm about to oh. grab the food. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the jalapenos are pickled as well? Yes, the jalapenos okay. are pickled as well. So good. And so good. we have a little bit of uh, lemon juice that's gonna give us our acid, and so all the yeah. The pickles um, all have a little sugar in the pickling liquid, and so that gives us the sweetness. We're gonna put a little olive oil on there. You said you do a warm pickle. Does that mean literally the liquid is warm? Yeah, it's warm up like the term. vinegar and the sugar, okay. and then drop the vegetables oh, wow. in, and um, then season a little salt. And, and then I pepper. see you have some Greek stuff here. This is kataifi. Yep. yep. Yeah, so what is that? Exactly. It's so, kataifi. Yeah, it's like, again, um, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's like a shredded filo. Shredded. You have like kataifi. <laughs> shredded filo. Yeah, shredded oh, filo. That's all. Oh, that's it makes good. it crunchy. Yeah. yeah. So so always you... overcomplicated things. I'm Greek. No, I know what you meant. You're Greek? Oh, my gosh. I love it. Kala si dekani skoritimo. 
some <laughs> nice summer radishes and I love know, radish too. It always gives blossoms. it such a nice that kind of burn from the radish is so <laughs> yeah. delicious. A few squash blossoms and just fresh squash blossoms, fresh not cooked blossoms. or anything. Yeah, just the, just the leaves and a little bit of the um, nuts. And the nuts again are going to give it some nice texture, but. Is this? Also some richness, and that's what we're gonna finish with. It's not coffee, is it? <laughs> no, it's not coffee. Okay. <laughs> it's sumac. Oh. And, sumac. And so it's a very fruity little spice. Mm -hmm. ah. It really is a work of art. Yeah. Yes. And a little bit of sumac. Know, and then we'll finish with this. Your, your kataifi. Your, yes, your Greek <laughs> It's almost too beautiful to eat, but that's I said it. almost, I'm gonna eat it. Can I get in there, Chef? You sure can. Please. Wonderful. Do. While you're doing everything. that, oh, my gosh. it's so good. It's, so, it's, it's delicious. Would you like to taste well it? It's well balanced. Here you go. Yeah. So many the only thing off balanced here is the person to your right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Welcome oh, back, back, Mark. We missed you. <laughs> Dig in. While you're doing that, I will tell you uh, visit Chef Mina's restaurants all over oh, the country. He's got many of them, including the street, a Michael Mina social house that just opened in Waikiki, Hawaii, if you happen to be there. Mm. Margot Brasserie that just opened in Chicago and Calamari that's uh, scheduled to open in Los Angeles in November. He's a busy, busy He's man. A busy Found man. time oh. to spend a little phenomenal. bit of his day with us.